good morning everybody, we're now docked in Stavanger looks like a beautiful little town and we shall be eating and then exploring this place this one's a lot bigger than the Hauger Sand where we went the first time so yeah, looking forward to having a wander around weather looks good at the moment but I think it has forecast a bit of cloud, wind and rain showers so hopefully we get the best of it I think most people have set off for early trips there's also a lot of rib boats going up and down so the rib boat tour we were supposed to take in um, Garangi Fjord but on Lysfjord which is at this place where we're at now it goes into open water and for me personally that's got seasickness with all over it so I didn't want to opt for that but I mentioned that because going on pricing again the company doing that we could have booked for maybe 10 a.m. this morning. Just now, there's still availability, and it's like it's like 90 pounds each. But if you do it through Royal Caribbean, it's 205 each. So that just goes to show how much extra the Royal Caribbean company off the ship is charging. So just pointed that out, just like I did yesterday and the day before. So if you're in these smaller places, again, it's always uh, worth looking at the companies themselves off ship to do your excursions and we're going to hit up Cafe 270 to start the day we've got hot wraps and croissants and bagels over there desserts over here but I'm going for a bit of smoked salmon and cream cheese and whatever else I've got here with a raspberry danish on top So we are off ship in Stavanger, which is classed as one of the oldest cities in Norway, apparently. And it's also classed as one of the most expensive cities in the world. Um, it's famous for its uh, energy and fuel uh, industry. So with that obviously comes high prices, uh, but it looks like a cool place. Let's get touring about. streets with traditional white houses literally just as you step off ship and this area is called Gamel G-A-M-L-E I hope that's how you pronounce it old cobbled streets old white houses and a ginormous cruise ship docked right outside of them unfortunately as well it's not that bad weather today no wind a little bit cloudy might have a few showers but what a gorgeous little place this is and if you look oh, I'll just spin you around if you look behind me, there's a cruise ship just right next to where we're talking about. So. Looks like we've got a place to ourselves, Claire. Uh, Gamble. How white are these houses? It's a street. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's a really pretty. Like a little fairy tale yeah. street. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cool. Considering hundreds and hundreds of people have literally just walked off cruise ship, it's quiet on there. There's, there's only me and Claire on there. So, a little place to visit for sure.
be safe around here. This is uh, just hang your key up outside your front door. Safe as houses, as they'd say. So apologies for my pronunciation, Claire. It's actually pronounced Gamle, that place we've just been. Not Gamble, like I just said, like a typical English idiot. Correcting the pronunciation for a change, because I know in the past I've been told off for that. <laughs> so yeah, it's Gamle, not Gamel. So just down here on the harbour front, we were just across there a minute ago, at the Gamle area. And all these people are getting on rib boats. I'm really glad I didn't book one in this place actually because I really wanted wanted to go on it in this weather. But look at all these cool little bars. And because it started raining a bit, what better thing to do than take a seat and grab a beer. And what better place to get than a beer in a pub named after an amazing Creedence Clearwater Revival song. I'll fit in, let's go. Norwegian beers on tap, hopefully we'll not break the bank. So let's get some drinks in before we move on. A litre of toe, toe beer, I think it's pronounced. It's pretty good. And that was 190 kroner, so it works out at 13 and a half pounds. Claire's got Prosecco, that were like seven pounds 50, so it was like 99 Norwegian kroner. I thought the prices would be more expensive, like I've said before. But it's still decent. more expensive than a cruise ship. Exactly, and the beer is pretty good and pretty plentiful. Cheers. Oh, skull. Enjoying this beer and Tina Turner's version of Proud Mary's playing. A shout out to Tina, bless her. She's an epic uh, entertainer. Nick is smashed. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. We're gonna sit. I might be like, we could be late getting back on ship at this rate. <laughs> I reckon. Cool music, cool drinks. Yeah. Can't complain. Okay, you sent it proud Mary bar. That's okay, quality. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Claire. That beer's gone straight to my head. I enjoyed that uh, bar. Nice. It was decent. And there's all these other bars yeah, just right outside the, the ship. Before we came in, it was raining, and it's absolutely glorious outside now. Right though, that bar was too dark. I think we should get another drink, what are you saying? <laughs> I definitely think we should get another drink, let's go. This is awesome, I love it down here, it's quality. This is the kind of town you could spend a couple of nights in if you were touring about by yourself, definitely. Awesome street right here. It's absolutely amazing for bars and restaurants and whatnot. We're gonna pick out this place. It's called Dongville or Dogville Burger. Looks pretty cool from the outside. Check it out. Grab a bite for lunch. Finish off touring around Stavanger before we get on the ship. Let's get it. Friedland IPA and some burgers and some wings. Oh, it's all good. Nikki's in heaven. It's Just really carry nice. on. Then. No, that's really it smells nice. really citrusy. I mean, I like IPA. I'm not a Pilsner fan because she 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 um, recommended a, a local Pilsner, but I'm not a Pilsner fan. But I like an IPA, and that's got like a bit of a Brewdog Easy Jane vibe to it, but it's really nice. out of this place Donville it's pronounced I'm wrong again it's a silent G waitress corrected me I just asked her and I'm not gonna lie I've been to a lot of places in America and that right there is arguably 
one of the best burgers I've ever eaten. So you guys, I don't know if you agree, Claire, no, but you guys, there, definitely. So you guys who's looking at this and planning on a Norwegian cruise and you're coming to Stavanger, hit up that place for lunch and trust yeah. me, you will not be disappointed. Yeah, nice. The beer were great, the burgers were even better. It's not cheap. You know, we had wings, burgers, fries, couple of drinks. Nearly 60 pounds, I think it cost in British. But yeah, that's definitely one of the best burgers I've ever eaten in my life. They're really good. So we're in the heart of Stavanger in like the shopping area. And it looks just so cool because all the buildings are still like the traditional wooden buildings with all the famous high street stores. Such a nice looking place, it really is. reason why Claire were walking fast down a particular street. She's dug one out. There's in heaven. It's not a bauble, oh my no. word. It's a little trolley thing, whatever they're called. A troll. But We're bent like out. A little Christmas jumper on. Oh, lovely. Like See if there's one thing they do cash on in Norway, it's trolls. Every store you go in, it's full of them. Are you happy now? You've got your Christmas deck. Oh, Christmas deck. Where have we actually been at World when you haven't bought one? Nowhere. <laughs> so right down by this lake here in Stavanger, there's a really old cathedral. Um, but unfortunately, it's under a lot of construction at the moment for renovation. And it's not going to be completed well 2025. But this, it's the, apparently it's the oldest cathedral in Norway and it's uh, been there for 1100 years. So, you know, pretty uh, pretty cool thing to see. But unfortunately we can't get close to it because of the renovation work which is going on for years apparently, so. So after a few hours in Stavanger, look at this weather, it's glorious. We're heading back down towards Anthem of the Seas which looks like the most out of place docking you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> We're in this like old fashioned looking town where just a great cruise ship just plonked in the middle. I get back on board, chill out, get ready for tonight. We've got a couple of hundred uh, dollars ready and waiting there to have another gamble. We'll see if we can build on a little bit of good luck that we got last night. So uh, let's see what happens before we hit the seas at 6 p.m. tonight. So we're back on the ship and I loved Savanga, it was better than I expected as far as the town's concerned. Much better place to visit, much more to do than Horgesund where we visited first. All in all, the Norwegian trips, absolutely quality. I'd recommend it to anyone. When it comes to cruising, it's such a different experience. And like I say, it's just a it's an itinerary based trip for this. We weren't doing it for the ship, although we do we do enjoy the I mean this is everything the ship's got to offer. But this is one of two trips, like I said previously that we've got left in us when it comes to cruising and after that I don't think I'm overly bothered about cruising anymore but this trip and then the next one this time next year is going to be an even bigger trip and the cruise is only going to be half of the trip so we're really really looking forward to that I'll post more details about that <coughs> soon if Norway is on your radar definitely do it obviously we had that little hiccuping at Gerangi Fjord but it didn't really spoil the trip too much I mean we still got a hell of a lot of great footage and we saw lots of like cool scenes while we're out there and all in all throughout the trip the weather's been really good to us because we expected it to be raining a lot foggy a lot we've had a bit of wind but all in all the weather's been quality you know and still plenty to go out we're gonna jump back downstairs in a moment do do some like pub quiz type things have a few drinks we're gonna hit the casino later we're a couple of hundred so I'll update you on any of that and we've got full sea day tomorrow but with that being said I'll check in with you later on the remainder of the trip before we leave for home or when we get home 
Um, Claire's enjoyed it just as much, but she's uh, still tucking into a vanilla milkshake because she's not had enough to eat and drink already in Stavanger. She's happy because she's got a couple of Christmas decks. So with that being said, we'll check back in where if there's anything notable wind-wise or anything on the ship and a few little bits and pieces tomorrow from the sea day and then obviously when we get back to England in a day and a half time. So, bye for now. on the cruise for six days and finally and double blessings we're actually in something worth worth showing it's only one eight hundred and eighty dollars off an 80, 88 cent bet but the dragons climbed all the way up the screen so it gives us something worth vlogging for a change <laughs> hopefully we can build on it so we started out with 100 and this we've got it up to 295 so we're clawing it back from what we've lost previously, hopefully we can build on it. Claire loves a bottle of Kim Crawford, oh, she's happy. I am very, very happy. This is going straight in my case <laughs> to go home so I can have a nice Kim Crawford back at home. <laughs> Cheers to Ray and yeah. George. Cheers, Lovely you guys. Very, very nice. I've got 150 ticket in my pocket, but at this stage we're 250 down. So if we can maybe build on that ticket, maybe it'd be nice to break even. Yeah, but definitely. it's not looking like that we haven't been doing that well with gambling but we're 250 down we've got 150 to play with and we'll see what happens today which will be nice um, Claire's got some decks I think haven't you, you wanted to show? Yeah. She, always, she always wants to show everybody decoration you know yeah. Christmas decks Norway one yeah it's a little Viking all these that are in at the minute put it up to the lens it's got a little what I call a boxing day drink from <laughs> So I got that. Christmas decorations. But yeah, so there Claire's Christmas decks of the trip. She always has to buy more than one, obviously. You know what I mean? So we're just outside Brass and Bock and we've got a few group members. And we've got Carl and Carrie. What's your name again? Claire. Yeah. And we've got Ailey and Alan. Alan, I nearly really forgot your name again. <laughs> we've got Pistachio Martinez, which is so. I've never even heard of it. I want to know what group. I've never even heard of it. Pistachio Martinez. I'll stick, Martini, I'll stick yeah. to the Red Stripe with, with Alan over there. So, cheers, everybody. Here's yeah. to some more big wins yes. before yes. we hit yeah. the casino. I'm, I'm Where's your drink cool going? Yeah. Where's your drink going? Water. Oh, my yes. word. Yes. Nice to meet you all, guys. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. It's been a good week. Is it a good one or a bad one? We're on Skinner's Teeth in Casino, but Claire's just stick one. We're down to his last two dollars and we're back up to about 110 now. Desperate times. <laughs> Gambling's a bust. We're going on with his tail between his legs on gambling front. Claire's fault. I blame her for it. So that's it for the last night on the cruise. Uh, gambling was a bust in the end. We ended up 400 down. Uh, but between the gambling and the drinking that we paid for, um, we actually spent exactly the amount what we brought from Claire's thousand dollar royal flush win on the last trip which were one with winnings 
from the previous Las Vegas trip in July so finally that money's gone it's took three trips so you know it's uh, not bad at all really some good winnings so us through uh, three holidays more or less so with that being said we're going to pack up and we're going to be leaving pretty early in the morning and I shall catch up with you with some final uh, thoughts on the trip uh, tomorrow so catch you in a bit So what's up everybody, we're finally back home. I thought I'd just finish the, the vlog out here while I'm editing the la very last video. So I'm, I'm, I'm filming this like, the same day as this video is going up. But we appreciate the huge amount of support we've had on these videos and you know, like, we've had some really kind comments of everybody on how I'm making the videos and how I'm showing everything and putting it together. And it means a lot, it really does, you know, because I'm, I'm quite passionate at making videos. I want to get better, I want to improve all the time. I really, really enjoy doing it. As I've mentioned in the vlog, uh, Norway were great. You know, if you're regular cruisers and you haven't done it, it's definitely something I'd consider. And again, big shout outs to all the guys we met on the ship, uh, Hayley and Alan, uh, Ray and George, uh, Carl and Carrie. And also another shout out who I didn't mention before to um, Gail and Daisy, who I met in the coffee shop down on the promenade level. Uh, Gail mentioned that they watched the videos, they had no clue that we were on the ship, they just happened to be inside of us in, in coffee shops, so that was pretty cool to meet with you guys. Um, that being said guys, I'll just leave you with a bit of information, like I've mentioned a few times that this is probably one of two cruisers that we've got left in us, and you, to all you guys that keep asking us this same question, the answer is yes, we are going to Alaska next May of 2024, um, the cruise itself is already booked and it's going to be an epic trip it's going to be one of the biggest trips that me and claire have ever done because the cruise itself is a seven night cruise but it's only half of the trip um, there's a lot to put in place yet for this trip uh, any further details on it I, i'll i'll talk about later on and post on the the usual channels and whatnot on my social media but that's uh, very much in place for may 2024 and it's going to be epic and I'll be really looking forward to making videos on that one. So yeah, that's Alaska for 2024. It's going to be absolutely amazing. But you know, we've got things in place before then because as you already know, we've got uh, Lake Tahoe Vegas trip in September. So September the 11th, we fly out to San Francisco. I'm picking up a car and we're driving to Lake Tahoe, which is a beautiful part of America it's like California Nevada so hopefully I'll be getting some great videos from there really looking forward to that trip and that's coming up in just three short months time I've really enjoyed making these Norway videos excellent trip love love all the footage myself it's great memories again so with that being said guys if I don't see you before I shall see you in September for the Lake Tahoe trip take care